Hey, it's James Nicholson, I hope you're well, and I'm here in one of my property investments in Dorking in Surrey. Now, this is my very first property that I purchased in 1999, and I wanna give you some details on it and some facts on it and talk about how this property has made me a ton of cash and how I've used the profits from this to go on and buy other properties as well. So we're in Dorking, we're in the, the center of the town, as you can see there out the window, and this property is just currently having a refurbishment. Uh, so we're between tenants at the moment. So this is the front door uh, where you come in, and then over here, you've got a bathroom, a uh, simple little bathroom, bath, shower, and stuff like that. So that's gonna get a lick of paint tidied up uh, and all of that stuff over the next few days. And you've got a little corridor here and when I bought this property, this was actually a studio flat and we've converted it during COVID to a one bedroom property. Um, and so how it worked, this room here, so this is now the living room, uh, this was all open plan. So we put a partition wall here, a stud wall up, um, and that leads into the bedroom over here. Uh, and this has made it a one bedroom. Now, I've done that because it's more rentable and there's an uplift in value as well. Uh, and then we've got a little kitchen here. So we've got a kitchen from B&Q, which is pretty good. Now, this property I purchased in 1999 when I was working as a Burger King manager. And so I purchased the property for 45,000 um, pounds, which at the time felt like a lot of money. Uh, but obviously as time's gone on, uh, it is worth considerably more than that. So 1999, we purchased it for 45 grand. It was a bit of a mess, needed some work, um, which we did, changed it and decorated. I actually lived here for 10 years, I think, quite a long time uh, when I was starting out in business. In fact, my first business started here. So my iPod accessory business, this is where it started. I used to pack the accessories in the evening. So those of you that know my story, maybe you've read Expert Mastery or you've come to one of my events. This is actually where we started uh, the iPod accessory company 17 odd years ago now. Uh, and so we purchased this property for 45,000 pounds. Now today, I'm not sure exactly, we're just about to get it revalued, but I estimate that it's worth around 250,000 pounds. Now that's five times my money. So I've actually put down to get this property back then, just 3,000 pounds, that was the deposit, right? So I had it on a, on a personal mortgage, then now it's on a buy to let mortgage. Now we're looking to refinance this and we've refinanced this multiple times over the years and hopefully we're gonna, re, <laughs> we're gonna be taking more than 100 grand out of this property and that's gonna allow us to buy some new projects and some new assets, right? So think about that, I put 3,000 pounds in, I've had rent for how many years now? So 13, 14 years, I've had rent paid to me, which has made me profit off of that. Capital gains, I mean, the property's grown five times in value, so it's worth nearly a quarter of a million pounds now. Uh, and that's really, really made a big difference. Now, I have a property portfolio, and a lot of the other properties I got started from this property. So getting your first property is essential, because once you've got that, over time, it goes up in value, and then you can refinance and release equity. And that's exactly what I did. So I released equity. I bought two houses in Hastings from that off the back of this one property and others as well. And also it's helped me when I've had difficult times. So my first business failed. I got 50 grand in personal debt. And down the line, once I got myself back on track and started earning again, actually being having this property pay me some rent made life a lot easier. Now, renovation costs for this, because I know you guys are interested in how does it work and stuff like that. We didn't spend lots on this. So to renovate this, the previous tenant had it as a, as a studio flat. Uh, to renovate this to make a one bed cost five grand. So for five grand, we've got a brand new kitchen. We've got a bedroom added with this partition wall here. 
And so that's really only cost us five grand, but the uplift in the value is 50. Well, we're gonna see for sure once we get the mortgage valuation in, but we are expecting the uplift in Dorking between a studio and a one bedroom flat is around 50 thousand pounds we've spent five grand to get 50 50 grand in uplift in valuation uh, and, and so property is a good way to to earn income and i'd say for those of you that have businesses you should be taking your profits out and investing in things like property because maybe your family can't take your business on and that's exactly why i invest in property i want my daughters georgia and amelie to have something that they can invest my coaching business, they're not gonna be able to take that on from me. They're not skilled in marketing and teaching business owners and coaching business owners. So this really allows me to give them something that they can inherit and take on and give them financial stability uh, once I move on to the next world, right? Uh, and so that's what I think business owners should be doing, or maybe even if you're in a job, you should be looking at finding properties, investing in them. And what I always say is, property always comes good. Now, if you buy a business or you spend lots on your business and it goes wrong, like my first business did, you can end up with a lot of debt and end up with nothing. And my first business failed and I ended up with 50,000 pounds in debt, right? Now, if you buy a property and you pay too much for it or your roof blows off and you get a leak and everything doesn't quite work out, time is forgiving in property, right? And so as this property shows, this has potentially gone up five times the price that we purchased it in just over 20 years, 22, 23 years, right? Um, so it's gone up five times that amount in that short period of time. That's what happens with property. So if you buy a bad deal, eventually it comes good. And that's why it's one of the most forgiving businesses that you can get into. So anyway, I just thought I'd show you behind the scenes stuff. If you're interested in seeing more property stuff from me, let me know in the comments. Just say, let me, let, please show us around your other property deals and stuff like that. I'm happy to do some tours if there's interest on this channel. So tell me in the chat if you want me to do more content on property, on all the projects that I've got going on at the moment, I'm happy to do that and start sharing with you that journey as well. Uh, and so do comment below. If you want more property stuff, say, show me more property stuff. Give me a like on this video. Give me a subscribe on this channel as well. Uh, but I thought I'd show you around. This is my first property deal from 1999. Five times I've made on my money. Uh, and that is a very, very, very good return. So that's it from me. I'm James Nicholson. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye for now.